Richie May Penta live at your screen once again. For today's return demonstration, I would love to show you the proper procedure of bed shampoo. What is bed shampoo anyway? So, that is the washing of the hair and the scalp of the patient in bed. In performing a bed shampoo, we have also some special considerations. And that are, be sure that the procedure is ordered by the in the opposition. So, see to it that the patient is um, comfortably placed in a diagonal position. Also, arrange the, the so allow to the free flow from the head. Also, protect the patient from from falling and chilling. Also, observe principles of proper body mechanics and remove jewelry before before to start the procedure. And lastly, assess the document baseline vital signs such as body temperature prior and after the procedure. So for the equipment, these are our bath towels. On top of it is the one for the neck and one is for the eye. Next is our, gl our gloves. Our gloves is optional, so I won't use gloves. Then, our pitcher, our cotton, we have to use two cotton balls, liquid shampoo, our comb. So, we don't have a rubber draw sheet. I will use here. So, th this will serve as our rubber draw sheet. Same as with our Kelly pad. So, we don't have a Kelly pad. So, I am going to use again a towel instead. So, that to serve as our Kelly. And lastly, our garbage receptacle. So, here we go for the implementation of our bed shampoo. So, first is we have to arrange the foot of the top sheet and fold it down to the patient waistline. So, this allows your access to our patient and also allows mobility in moving the patient. Supposed to be we don't have a real patient here. So, I'm using a doll. Then, supposed to be this is our bed. Okay. It is already on the patient's waistline. Then, remove pillow and place at the foot part of the bed. This is our people. Also, bring the patient head closer to the bed head of the bed. This prevents over strict strength that causes muscle strain. This is our, supposed to be our pillow. So. Okay. Then, lift the head and spread rubber draw sheet and towel at the head part and then place folded towel under patient's so, towel provides comfort and maintain in, in, in line position of the head. So, next then is to insert the Kelly pad under the patient's head with true directed towards the basin. So the Kelly pad will receive an empty filter in the basin. Then, place basin on the floor and adjust our kelly pads. So, here is our basin and kelly pads. Adjust. So, it prevents spilling of water. So, the, the shorter the distance to the, the basin to the kelly pad prevents water from spilling. Next is to comb hair to remove snarls or tumbled hair. So, combing hair removes snorks. Then, plug ears with cotton balls so that prevents water from entering the ear of the patient. There. 
Then cover eyes with folded towel so that it will, it will prevent the soap from entering, entering the eyes. So cover the eyes. Okay. And so then next is moisten hair with warm water. So warm water relates the pore of the scar and therefore removing the dirt that is present in the pores. So, two. So next is to pour shampoo sol solution on palm and try to spread on the hair. Prevent the use of excessive shampoo because this will provide discomfort and irritation to the patient. So, okay, just a small amount. Then, apply on the hair. Okay. If necessary, massaging the hair or the head of the patient while using shampoo. Using the fingernails because it stimulates circulation on the scalp. So, massage. Okay. Stimulate again circulation on the scalp. Okay. Then, rinse, ha ha rinse, rinse hand before rinsing her to avoid contamination of the hands of her. Okay. So next is to rinse the hair off with warm water starting from upper part of the head. So make sure that all parts of the hair is being rinsed. So from the top, from the toughest part of the head, down. clean. So, if not completely, completely rinse off, soap may irritate the scalp and makes hair sticky. So, make sure that the hair is really rinsed. That no soap is left behind or shampoo left behind. Then, so, now is, our hair is clean. So, next is do final rinsing with Full water, excess water. So, squeezing the excess water will physically dry in. And also, cold water causes constriction of the pores of the scalp and prevents chilling. And this time, this is a cold water. Okay. Then, squeeze. This will facilitate drying. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. Next is to remove the eye cover and air plug. You can use air plug for the for drying the patient's ear if wet. So you can use another to wet its ear. So, then, okay. With one hand, raise the head while the other removes the kelly pot and drop it into the pail or basin. So, it allows for removal of kelly pots with no or minimal spillage of contents or dirt. Okay, then remove folder towel from under the patient's head with one hand again. Okay. So next is to what cover the patient's hair with bath towel through rubbing the hair in water to control the wall. It also keeps the patient from chilling as a result of changes in environmental temperature. So, using a towel. Okay.
Rubbing produces friction, thereby absorbing water from the air. And we're going to rub again the head. Here we go. Rub, rub, rub. Place pillow on rubber protector and dry using towel. So, this is our pillow. Moist pillow will ba harbor bacteri bacteria, so this will harm the patient. So, it is important to dry the pillow before putting our patient here. And then dry the hair well, and then with hair, make us chilling due to the cooling effect of evaporation. So that is why we need to dry it very soon. Not very soon, but in each. Okay. Then demonstration. Once again, I'm Richie May Pentor from BS1 Veneer. May God bless us all. Thank you so much. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk?